In today's video, I'm going to show you a neat little trick how you can use your ND grad as a standard ND filter. Now, if you're not familiar with the difference, an ND grad is this is an ND grad, and the ND grad is dark half the way down and clear at the bottom. And of course, you can get different types. You can get a hard transition like this, where it transitions very quickly from dark to clear. You can get a medium transition or a soft transition. Okay, now, of course, the purpose of an ND grad is to uh, darken down the sky, to balance the sky in the foreground when there's a difference. Now, an ND filter is dark all the way down because the purpose of an ND filter is to stop the light coming through across the whole of the image and give you longer exposures for whatever reason, if you want to blur the clouds, if you want to blur the water. So if you're using a square type ND grad like this and you have an ND uh, holder, uh, a square filter holder like this, then of course um, you're going to need a square type ND filter as well. Now, of course, the simple solution is to go and buy the filters that you need. Buy yourself a set of ND uh, grads, buy yourself an ND filter. Uh, ND filters come in various strengths from 10 stop, 6 stop, 15 stop even. So, I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, great, go out and buy all those filters. But let's face it, these filters are expensive. I mean, <clears throat> Lee filters uh, are £100. This is a case filter holder. The case filters are superb, but they're expensive too. So in order to, to get yourself a set of ND grads and a set of ND filters, it really starts to cost a lot of money. So here, I'm gonna show you a neat little trick. If you only have some ND filters, uh, ND grad filters like I have, uh, then um, this is how you can turn the ND filter, ND grad filter into an ND filter. And it's quite simple really. Now you're most likely you're going to need a hard grad filter for this. The soft grad filters won't really work but the hard grad filter will work. And it's very simple really. Now of course when we put the grad filter in we usually position it with the transition on the horizon but if we pull it right the way down then the transition is down the bottom and the dark part is covering the whole of the image. So effectively, I've turned this into an ND filter and it's really simple. Now this is a four stop hard grad. So effectively what I've put on here is a four stop ND filter. And if I wanna get more, then I can just stack them just like you would do any other filters. Now this is a three stop hard grad. So if I put this one on here, put it in the same position here. Now I've got four plus three. Now I've got a seven stop ND filter on there. And I have turned this from one thirteenth of a second. If I push this right the way down, I've now got six seconds. That's simple. So let's see it in action, shall we? So, as you can see here in this composition with no filters, I've just got the polarizing filter on. At F16 ISO 100, the slowest shutter speed I can get is 1 15th of a second. If we now put the four stop in, push it right down, now I've got one second. Let's add the three stop. Okay, let's add the three stop. Now, now I've got eight seconds, even the light has changed. So, okay. The clouds themselves, I can do an eight second exposure here, but the clouds, there's not much contrast in the clouds and they're not really moving that fast. So it's not gonna give me much of a picture, but let's give it a go. And there's my six second exposure. Oops. 
Now I just need to wait maybe for some more contrasty clouds to come along. So as I said, we can also use this trick in conjunction with an actual ND filter. Now uh, I don't have any square ND filters, but I do have this round one, and I can screw this round one on and then also screw my case K9 holder uh, onto this and then add the square filters. So this is a six stop ND grad, a six stop Hoyer ND grad, and I'm going to combine the six stop now with my uh, four stop and three stop hard grads used in the way I've just shown you to produce uh, an effective ND of uh, six plus seven is 13 stops. So I'm actually gonna get 13 stops of light reduction. Now, it's another day and today the conditions are much better than they were yesterday. It's, it's been a stormy day, lots of storms blowing through. There's lots of nice contrasty cloud over that church now and it's quite windy too so the clouds are moving nicely. So let's see what we get when we use the six stop plus the four and the three stop used in the way that I just showed you. Okay so first we we'll screw this on. Nice and tight. Now we use our uh, Case K9 filter holder, which also screws nicely on to this. Nice and tight. Rotate that into position. Four stop, ND grad. And the three stop, ND grad. Now I put it like this first because this is going to uh, effectively give us 13 stops of light reduction and it might be quite difficult to use the autofocus. So I'm gonna focus first with this up and then I'm going to push that down. Okay, so let's see how it works. So at uh, ISO 100 F16 with the six stop on, I'm getting uh, 1.3 second exposure. Now I'm going to lock the focus, the autofocus. I do that simply by switching it to manual focus. Now the focus is locked and it's not going to move. Now I'll push my filters down all the way. Now I'm getting more than 30 seconds actually. Now it's flashing and it's telling me that it's going to underexpose. So ISO 100 I can take that up to 200. Still flashing. Now I can take my aperture down to f11. Now it's not flashing. Now I've got an exposure of 30 seconds. Let's see what that gives us. Lovely smooth clouds. I'll stick that picture up there now.
So we've got a bit more uh, interesting contrasty cloud coming over now. So again I've got a 30 second exposure. Let's see what this gives us. That's nice. I'll keep on uh, trying here for different shots now. The cloud is moving across nicely. It's a really great day. And it's uh, I think six o'clock in the afternoon. The sun is really strong so to be able to get a 30 second, more than 30 seconds actually, uh, if I dialed that back up and used the bulb I could probably get a 60 second. Let's try that shall we? Now typically if I take the ISO down to 100, at ISO 200 F11 I've got 30 second exposure. So the rule of stops means if I take the ISO down to 100 I would now need to expose that for 60 seconds. So one stop less on the ISO would mean one stop on the shutter speed. So now I can get a 60 second exposure. So let's try that. For that I'll have to switch to the bulb option. And click and lock for 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Beautiful. Now, I can't go any lower on my ISO, but I can stop down my aperture to get even more. So from f11 to f16 is one stop uh, lower on the f-stops for the aperture. So if I take that to, to f16, now ISO 100, I can now get a 120 second exposure. So I'll need one stop more of exposure time. So let's see what that looks like. 120 seconds. A 120 second exposure. How about that? 120 seconds in strong daylight with 13 stops of light reduction. Using a six stop ND filter, a four stop and a three stop ND hard grad positioned like this has given me 13 stops of light reduction and allowed me to get a 120 second exposure in broad daylight. Fantastic. So there you have it. With a combination of the six stop screw on Hoyer filter, the Case K9 filter holder with a four stop and a three stop ND grad position like this, I was able to get 13 stops of light reduction. And in broad daylight, in strong sunlight, a maximum of 100, 120 second exposure. That's just fantastic. So, hope you found this tip useful. And uh, if you did and you enjoyed this video, then uh, please give this video a like. And if you haven't already, I'd be really grateful if you uh, subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos and any future videos and tutorials and tips like this and um, catch you later. Thanks for watching.